In the past, we have grabbed password hashes as we've broken into systems, and those hashes don't really do you an awful lot of good as they are. You really need a password cracker. There are some good password crackers that are available. One of them is John. John the Ripper is a password cracker that has a number of capabilities here. We could go in single crack mode. We can specify our input encoding. A really easy way to get started with John, though, is to find a password file. And we can take a look at the password files that we have grabbed here in the past. And what I can do is I can copy this. And then all I have to do is say John. And there we go. We've got seven password hashes, and it looks like there were seven different salts that were available. So we've loaded up the password hashes into John, and what it is going to do at this point is it's going to run through those hashes using a variety of password attack types, and it's going to attempt to determine what those passwords are. There are fairly easily guessed passwords within this set of password hashes because it came from Metasploitable. So there are some available ones that are there. And if I were to just hit any key here, you could see which passwords that we were attempting to guess through. You can see the statistics that have been provided. I can kill that. One of the important things about any password cracking program is the word list that it uses. Now, you could certainly do brute force attacks and just iterate through every single potential character in every position, but then you got to be able to figure out how many positions there are in the password, and brute force attacks can take a really long time. One thing that is really time saving is the ability to use word lists. Because for the most part, people are going to use some form of words, typically, when they are selecting passwords. We've got some word lists available here. One that's actually pretty good is RockU. And I can say copy RockU out to my home directory. And then I can just unzip RockU. And once it's done unzipping, we can take a look at RockU and see all of the passwords that are available there. One thing that we get using these hash format files, so for example, the one that we were looking at before in MSF4 loot, if I were to take a look at this file that we had looked at, what you would see is I don't have to guess the username because it's right there. So I've got root, MSF admin, Postgres, Klog. I have the username, so all I really need to do is guess the password that's right there. And what we do in order to do that using a word list is we hash in the same way that this file was created, whether it's MD5 or SHA-1. We do a hash and then compare the hash results, and that's how these password crackers that use word lists actually function. And the same thing is true when you are brute forcing. You generate the password, you generate the hash, compare the hash. If you've got a password that generates a hash that is the same, you can say that you've got the password. Even if there is a hash collision, which is unlikely, but it happens, it doesn't really matter whether it exactly matches the original password. The only thing that matters is whether the hash matches. If I can get the hash to match, I can log in using that user and whatever password we came up with that generated the correct hash. So you can use John the Ripper in order to do password cracking. It's really good functional, it's free and open source, and it's a good password cracker that you can make use of.